Hey guys, what's up? It's Retro Mikey78, and today we have brought Ed and Tim with us to our first ever Toy Man show for them to see. Now, I have filmed these before, but it's been a couple years. So, um, you guys interested? After you guys get done watching this video, or hey, you can check this out and then come back to it. But this is the Toy Man show. It goes on in Bridgeton about eight times a year. Look at that Resident Evil 4. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. Love the way that looks. So this place is huge. And there is a lot, a lot of Funko Pops. If you are a Funko Pop collector, this place has them. But it also has video games. It also has toys. It also has artists. Where you get those shelf and artist piece. This place has it all. You just have to look. Now... We all went and um, there's going to be a lot of chopped up scenes and everything in this because Ed and Timmy, because Ed and Tim were really, really struggling with um, going through and looking at everything. So, um, yeah, but I'm just showing you guys all some pops, different stuff that I had seen. Um, like I said, th this place was jam packed and it was crowded. And we got in, and I think we were like the third or fourth people person in line to get in. But people just automatically just run to the back. And that's what we should have done, was run inside, then run back out. But I probably would have missed something that I did buy, and I would have been upset to miss it. But yep, Toy Man Show happens, like I said, eight times a year in Bridgeton. This place, awesome. Here's the guy that was at the Toy Show, Kirkwood Toy Show, last week. Guys, okay, check out that video. Me and Ed went to it. It's not as long as this one. Um, it's a shorter con. So, hey, check it out. Give it some love. This guy here, he, his, some of his stuff he was selling was sketchy. Tim was, at, was getting ready to buy a Wii off of him. The nunchucks were all tore up. The Wii itself looked like crap. It was, it was just really, really bad. I was like, ooh, I have no idea why. But here we go, Star Wars, Star Wars, all kinds of Star Wars. And then we get over here and old school Voltron. Look at that, man. Those are now at St. Louis Comics. I don't know if St. Louis Comics did a trade or buy it or what they did, but they were, I, I noticed that those Voltron toys are at St. Louis Comics. I was just there the other day buying some, trading some stuff of mine in and got a bunch of uh, stuff from them. So that was really cool and sweet. I said, folks, there are Funko Pops galore here. A lot of people complain about it. I know I used to complain about it, but now that I'm collecting Funko Pops, I'm not complaining. And the Funko Pops, now that I'm started, are really, really fun. Here's Tim. He sees some strategy guides and he wants these strategy guides. They were a good deal for $5. I think at the time I'm reaching in, I got one book off this guy. Tim bought a bunch of books. I don't even remember what all he bought. I think he bought, bought them for games he hadn't even bought off me yet, but I had it sitting in a box for him. And now we're going into the main hall. Here's that guy from the toy show last week. I was talking about Super Shredder. Waiting for $40. I'm glad I held off because I got it on clearance at GameStop. Thanks to Andrew who was in this video and told me that he got him one at clearance at GameStop. Told April the next day, a couple of weeks, days later, like, we're going to GameStop. This guy here always has all these old school board games back there. All right, so I'm trying to get in. I want to do a shot. Look how big this place is. It is jam packed. So you guys, you, you're going to understand there's a lot here we're going to miss. Slow it down. Pause. Check out anything you guys want to look at. This place is huge. Uh, it's $12 to get in an hour early. It's $5 the rest of the time. Go to Facebook and look them up. The Toy Man Show. This place is it. All right. 
You guys see video games. You guys see old school toys. You guys will see it all. Look at the Pokemon stuff there. I I have this was August something or other. I don't remember when it was, but all of us went and it's been three months since I've seen this footage. I have not edited it. <laughs> a little kid back there playing a the switch just then noticed that. But look at I was looking at all the turtle stuff. I am um, about years ago I bought a Michelangelo Star Trek turtles still in the packaging. It's up on my wall over here from that vendor. There, there, like I said, there's so much stuff. I'm bound to miss something. Um, bound to miss a lot of stuff, actually. Me and April need to go flea market shopping again. Um, that's what I do for my mom when I need to get her something. So we need to go flea market hunting because we need to find my mom something for her birthday. I've got her Christmas. I need to find a birthday. Mm. There's so many games and games are so overpriced right now. Now I'm looking at these systems. I mean, the green halo is nice. But when I asked, I think he wanted like 150 for it. And I was like, no way. There's no way I'm paying that for an old school Xbox. I've got one. It still works. Am I going to keep it? I got a few games that I can't emulate right now. Oh, wait. I would need these. I want the Power Ranger Turtles. I was showing them to Ed. That's why the camera's back down. I had to show them to Ed. But we're going to go back and look at them again. Power Ranger Turtles. Nope, we're not going to look at We're going to look at the PK series. This is what I went here to buy. I wanted to find all the PKs. Um, I came across a seller later that had a sale on them. So that's when I bought them. I told you guys, there's going to be a lot of clips and cuts and trying to dodge in and out of people walking around. So I'm trying to get the best footage I can out of this place, but it was packed. I know I talked to Chris about this. He said he he's estimating that there's eight to 12,000 people that go through this event when it goes on. And I'm waiting patiently. Come on, let me look. There we go. Now we can get over. I want to look at the Funkos. Just the variety you can find. If you're not a Funko Pop collector, don't get started. Because it is a rabbit hole that will not stop. I'll find something that looks interesting. Then I want this. Then I want that. I want to buy this to the set. Then this to the set. <sighs> It, it just doesn't stop. There, I'm looking at the PK series again. Like I'll tell you guys right now, I do pick them up at Toy Man. But I think I spent maybe 80, 85 bucks. I don't remember. But yeah, these, the pops are addicting. Um, like right now, I, you guys don't see him, but I'm, I'm sitting in front of my green screen. Behind the green screen is just all pops. And more pops. Like I said, there's a lot of pops here. I just got a guy who just visited this in November. And he commented in the channel from my last video back two years ago. He's like, there's way too many pops because I'm not a pop collector. Hey, congratulations that you're not, but if you are, this is the place to go. Now, here you go. I see some old school Transformers. I, I, I focused in that Omega Supreme. I love that Omega Supreme. I think you wanted $250 for it in box. If I had that kind of money to just spend on toys, I would buy it. Problem was, I wouldn't keep it in the box. I'd actually have it out here messing with it. Uh... I think we're still at the first row. Yeah, we are still in the first row of this con. Man, I forgot how jam-packed this thing is. This is the end of the first row. I see more Transformers. I was like, didn't even see that sign. Buy one, buy one, get one half price. Anything with green stickers. That's a good deal. 
Did not want any Transformers though. This is where I, yeah, this is the guy that had the cell and the pops. I was like, oh, there's all the PKs. He's got a sale. I think it was buy two for 25. Um, unless it's a chase or a variant or whatever. And then I was like, well, I'm going to get all these. Is that I am going to get my Michelangelo chase. That's one thing. I, I am huge Mikey fan. So I was like, I'm going to get the chase of Mikey. You guys will see it at the end of the video. Along with Tim. Along with Ed's pickups. So please, stay to the end. Watch their pickups. Then I find something that I've been looking for for a long time. It's down on the bottom there. You guys will see it in the pickups. That's what made me go like, oh yeah. Finally gonna get what I want. And I cut after I've already bought I'm carrying a bag now trying to film. I think I got two bags full of pops. I'm trying to film and I'm trying to wait on Tim and Ed to look through what they want to do. So yeah, remember I'm just walking around at this point. Ed's over here, he's like, uh, I want this, I want this, and he's like, at that one. Tim's back there talking to the guy. I honestly don't think he bought anything, though. Cow, Munger Carl, I got that up there. I asked the guy if he had the pizza things inside, and he goes, oh, no, no. I, like, I told him, I said, I paid $20 for mine at an event here in Missouri once. And didn't even realize inside was all four turtles from the movie. And it already had the pizzas. I had also ordered more, but it had the pizzas. Oh, ear popping. Uh, that's when I was talking to the guy. You guys can see the stuff on the table a little better. That's say 800 on a Wii. I didn't even see it. Couldn't have said that. I had to say 80. I was want to look through the vintage X-Men figures because, you know, I do love my X-Men on the wall. But I don't know exactly what I have. And I'd already spent a buttload of my money. And I was wanting to buy something out near the door. So, I decided just to walk away. Um, I know Tim comes back to that booth and sees something. He, he's like, oh, I should have bought this. Should have. Giant, giant Star Wars toy. I love it. I think I'm down this aisle by myself. Yeah, because Tim and Ed are still back by the Funko Pops and all the statues and toys. Yep, I had to go back and get what them. That is. <laughs> That's what the cut was there. Then I'm going to cut again here because this guy, I come across something... No, I guess I don't. Old school... Oh, DC toys, old school action figures. Eddie. I like that Batman Beyond. I really, I love the Batman Beyond cartoon. That cartoon was awesome. This is where I found something. Oh shit! The guy has the set of these for thirty-five, which is a good price. All I need is the number one out of this turtle set. I need the one. He goes, oh, I might have it down here, and he starts looking through all these totes. No, he doesn't have it. Which is a really bummer to me because all I need is that number one out of the two, three, four, five um, for this year's turtle set. Little turtle minivan. So. Still can't find it at a store. I know I'm done to pick it up off eBay, which is annoying to me. I'd love, I'd love to just find it in the store, but it's been all year long. We haven't found it. It's almost Thanksgiving. I'm going to have to give up and probably get it off eBay, which is about $15 for that one. The other four you can find everywhere. You just can't find number one. Hot Wheel City. I mean, if you're a Hot Wheel collector, they got them here. Hot Wheels and cars. That's what I'm kind of flying through. I wanted you guys to see that they had them. I'm not that big. I only collect certain ones. <coughs> we still have three more aisles to go down. Plus the upstairs. Funko Pops. Not all Funko Pops though. But then you turn around and there's more Funko Pops behind us. I'm going to start collecting the Turtle Soda Pop cans. Funko Pops. Then I was looking here. April O'Neil, a foot soldier from the first one. They were 50 and 80. Too rich for me today. But I'd like to see them again. Maybe down the road I can buy them. I'll have to spend more money. But 
That's what I say. I, I'm to a point now my collecting is re really veering off from buying video games. I'm more into Funko, Retro Turtles, X-Men. Really thinking about hitting Transformers or just buying a few. If I do, it would probably be the Dinobots. I love the Dinobot toys. More Hot Wheels. And then we go to, this is like a hodgepodge, Monopoly, G.I. Joe. And again, on the other side, Funko Pops. Like, like I said, there are a lot. If you are a collector, you're not going to, you're always going to find something here you like. Man, there's a lot. Watching this video, I didn't even realize there was this many. I, that's cool. The rescuers with the bird. I think that's cool. Ed and me were talking about it. Yes, I cut all the audio. There's so many people walk around. I don't even think I didn't have mics on nobody. So I cut the audio. That's why you guys aren't hearing nothing but me because it was so distorted. It wasn't even funny. Turtle toys. And then here you go. Check out this. I didn't realize this was at the Toy Man show either. And it was at QuadCon. It's the Beetlejuice Creepy Crawler. That is a cool, cool car. Wish I would have bought this. Um, Mikey and Raph was rookies in training. I like that. I, I forgot all about it until I got back to the video. I was editing and cutting it out. Like, oh, look at that. Star Wars toys. I'm always going to pass over Star Wars toys. Nothing against you guys that collect Star Wars toys, but I'm passing over them. Too many Star Wars toys. <coughs> Tim's a huge Star Wars nut, and he's like, I didn't realize there was this many Star Wars toys. He, he said he was kind of overwhelmed with what was there. Star Trek. There's a lot of Star Trek stuff, too. Not as much as Star Wars, but there's a lot of Star Trek out there. I'm starting to, I've got a few Star Trek items in the game room, but not much. Fantastic for the Human Torch. Coca-Cola Polar Bear. I love that polar bear, that giant polar bear. I actually like that giant burnt stay puff. I might buy that. I might try to find one and buy that. I actually do like the giant Stay Puffed all burnt. I don't like the little ones. I like the giant one though. Problem is I'm running out of room already with the giant pops too. As I start selling more stuff, I'll have more room. But right now I've got items that I need to get sold and gone. So got a bunch of stuff that's in the way. Man, there's a lot of toys. I, I, I'm, I'm watching this almost like I said with you guys because I I have not seen this. I I filmed it in August. I edited it sometime in September and I've not looked back on this since. And I really didn't watch it that much when I cut it up. Giant Star Wars official handbook. I like the box power pad. Yep, I knew I was going to go back and look at that. And more Funkos. Always more Funkos. Everywhere you turn, there's a Funko Pop at the Toy Man Show. And like I said, I did. I think that was why I stopped going to Toy Man. Because I wasn't interested in Funko Pops. There was too many. Hey, that vendor was that vendor with those horror stuff was um, at the toy, Kirkwood Toy Show too. The other side of the table from the other... When we started the other one of all Hot Wheels. Oh, Transformers. I always look at trans. Love looking at Transformers. Lego, turtle stuff, expensive turtle stuff. Giant turtle back in the back. And this is where Ed notices the big Bulbazar. And he's like, I need that for my collection. I didn't even get footage of it. Yeah, he told me to turn around. 
and then yeah i'm already back onto another aisle these are cool they took the 10 inch funko pops drilled holes and made lamps out of them um if i could find a duplicate of one of mine or some of mine real cheap i could do that Ooh, i'm gonna go buy a super shredder and see if i can get that done a super shredder light that would be cool all I need to do is buy a lamp, drill a hole, and put it down through there. That'd be cool. I'm going to put it somewhere here in the game room. Don't even have to have it light lit up. I just want it. And those are on sale. Clearance right now. Clearance for $21 and 10 or 50% off that. That is a great deal. I, I, you guys can find them at your local GameStop. Buy them. I'm definitely going to go buy one and try to make a lamp out of it. I can go to Goodwill and buy a lamp. Surprised Tim didn't see that X-Men Gambit back there. There's uh, the remake of the Turtle um, Party Wagon. I actually just got traded for one up. It's up on my top shelf up here. So many old school toys. I think there's something I look at it for April here in just a minute. I never ever seen it when I edited it, but nope, it's later on. I'll get to it when I get to it. Like I said, I can't. It's been two months since I've seen this. <laughs> Point and why I've got all my pops in one hand. <laughs> Retron 5. I think that was a waste of money. Mine set up here and now it won't even work. I used it for a little while. There's Andrew. What's up, Andrew? That's it. I will be seeing Andrew, as I'm editing this, I'll be seeing him this weekend at the Kirkwood Toy Show again. He's always got an array of stuff, nice stuff. I have bought stuff off of him before, but he's just not got nothing out what I need. Mikey! Uh, loose turtle figures. I like, was I looking at the video games? Nope. I'm looking at the loose turtle figures. Uh, my turtle figures. <coughs> All right. And we move on to more toys. Like I said, it's the Toy Man Show. Why are we not having toys? We are now, I'm looking at the time. We are 22 minutes into this. And I got 34 minutes of footage still to go. So I don't even know what we're going to see, folks. So. I really don't remember anything of this <laughs> giant Megazord back there. That's cool. I didn't even notice that. 110 bucks. The white Tiger Zord. The Thunder Megazord. I, I know Ed's got a bunch of this stuff. I, I can't wait for him. He, he's waiting until he gets a house. He's got it all boxed and wrapped and got it all nice and neat in storage. I can't wait for him to get a house and get it all set up. I definitely am going to do a tour of his place once he gets it set up the way he wants. It is going to be awesome. You guys don't realize the amount of stuff he buys behind the scenes. Statues, and statues, and pops, toys, figures. Um, we are now upstairs. Yeah, we're upstairs on in Red Brick's booth. That's cool. That is cool. Here's an overview from upstairs. This is the best view you can get of the whole con. You're up above everybody. Look at people down there just spending all kinds of money. This was a Transformers, I mean, just paradise. Look at this. I could spend so much money here. It, I had to walk away. Walk away, Michael. Walk away! Like I said, it, I, oh man, I see things now like, why didn't I buy that? Why didn't I buy that? Wish I could have that. Oh, I didn't even see Scorponok. Man, I want some of these, I want some of these toys so bad. So, okay, I had to walk away. <laughs> and, ooh, that old school Winnie the Pooh would make a good birthday present for my mom. I like that Mario Kart thing. 
wasn't going to pay 30 bucks, but I liked it. 125 I have that sealed. Still in a box up here. Old school party wagon. I have one of them from the original days. I love seeing the old school toys. Hey, I've got that. I've got that. Then I bought my, um, the first time I ever went to Toy Man, years and years and years ago, before I even started the channel. I was showing that to Ed. Um, that's where I bought my party wagon and my first set of retro um, figures at, for Turtles. I didn't even have the game room. My daughter still lived with us, and this was her room that I'm sitting in. PS3 gig set. Some guitar. We are on the last row downstairs. Then we're going to head upstairs. As I look. Unicron Devastator Soundwave. I can look at these toys all day long. There's a Snake Mountain and Grayskull. Didn't stay back here long. I just saw a bunch of Star Wars stuff. I was just like, okay, I got to get out of here. Um, you guys are going to see this last bit, and then I left Tim and Ed. I left them because Tim was really just slow and looking at this point. So I was like, I'm leaving because I wanted to go back up front and buy something which would attack me out with money. And I was going to buy two items, but one of them was sold. So I got something. You guys will see. It was for me and April. I was excited. It was something um, I didn't know was a a thing until I got the Funko app and started scanning my Funko Pops in. Yeah, these guys had a lot of video games. I thought they were really overpriced. If this is what video games are going for, I was like, there's no way. I'm not buying. You can't buy a bunch of games anymore cheap unless you're, you somebody doesn't know what they have. Another Snake Mountain. There's a lot of He-Man toys out right now. All right, we are upstairs. And uh, yes, the loose turtle stuff, all this. <sighs> I wanted to stand here and just look at everything and er all that. I think I was down to $30. So I wanted to walk away. I think even Egg grabbed my shirt. He's like, come on. <laughs> but dude, there's so much stuff up here. There are still seven more minutes of footage of uh, upstairs reposition ourselves for this last seven minutes x-men and then we go around the, these people in all right pokemon turn around pokemon turn around walk in more turtle stuff and it's the same vendor like how much how where do you guys store all this you guys have rooms for this stuff when you're not selling it this guy had a pretty good um, assortment of stuff. Uh, but it was a lot of stuff I either had or I don't want. Uh, I do think I bought... Yeah, this is where I spent my last bit of my money. I spot, bought a Switch game off this guy. It was um, a sequel to another game I haven't finished yet. That Donkey Kong sign was for sale. But he wanted... I forget what it was. He wanted an astronomical amount. Just kind of looking around and waiting on Tim. Didn't know what I was going to get myself into. And of course, here you are. More Funkos. Even upstairs, there was Funko Pops. It's like, man. I wonder if this is going to be like Beanie Babies one day. I, I would doubt it because of the social media culture was with them. But I don't know. More Funkos here. I probably would have um, bought the shredder with a shirt if the shirt would have been my size. Because I would have opened it. I wanted the shirt. That right there. Yeah. Me and Ed have seen that now. We saw that the week before this. Then we've seen it here. And it wasn't even the same vendor. But I was like, I should buy that if I've come across it in my size. Because I would open it. These guys made every bit of this stuff. All this stuff was made and. 3D printed and hand painted. This guy just had a hodgepodge of all kind of old school stuff. I think I might make April and me go back. We might go back to the one in, in December. Or I might just go by myself. I don't know. 
came over here these guys had a few pops probably from their personal collection oh i should have bought the wolverine but I think it was 60 bucks no it was 10 oh i should have bought the wolverine I wasn't focused that much on my Funko Pop. Okay, so we are finally here out of Toy Man. How'd you guys both like Toy Man? It's great. Overwhelming. This was the first time these two had ever been. Now, I go to Toy Man all the time. You guys have seen the old videos. I know it's been a couple of years since I filmed, but let's check out what we picked up. We are gonna go with these guys' pickups, then they will film mine. <laughs> Holy that. cow, I never seen that before. Hold on. Okay. I love the leprechaun. That's what I'm telling you, man. This had to have been bought. I gotta, gotta keep growing the horror of Funko Pop collection. So Leprechaun had to be bought. Leprechaun! And of course, Carrie. Like that one? She had to be bought too. Especially because it's the... Pig caption, one. Yeah, it's capturing the, one of the last scenes in the film. Iceman. Bobby Bum himself. Gotta get him because I'm a fan of the original X-Man. Cyclops. My That's favorite right. X-Man. You knocked it on the ground, so you picked it up and bought it. Uh-huh. I, I knocked it. I didn't damage it, so I was like, you know what? Is... Damn, then, this then picked up these comics. Warden, The Flame in the Dark. It's a local vi our local artist and writer, so. Damn, that is cool. That's the first time I've seen it. Yeah. I decided to support these guys. Since they got, I think that was all five issues, or yep, four? all five issues, and the guy signed all of them. Yep. And that is free. It was a good deal too. Ten dollars for all those, and five for the other one. Damn! Look at that. Yeah. That's so. a four issues and one. Yeah, four issues and one. And then the big purchase that I'm still amazed at. Oh boy. This giant Raphael. My favorite turtle. That is From the sweet. animated series. That is really cool. I need a Mikey. I'm going to grab all of them. I just had to get Raph first. Wouldn't all right, Tim. So what did Tim pick up? You guys love his video games that he picked up at Mo Game Con. So what did Tim pick up today? Uh, continuing with the turtles. I saw that. I saw that. I needed it. The complete Clash of Collection. So I've been looking for that. No. He'll enjoy it until he gets to season eight. <laughs> yeah. In games. Um, Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Yeah, that's a classic. Going Commando. And then uh, Jack's Three. Platformers. I'm looking for those. And then Strategy Guys. I picked up these. Star Ocean. Star Ocean, five bucks a piece for these strategy guys. Yeah, they were pretty good, and they're in good, pretty good condition too. Yeah, they are. In Gears really good three condition. and Gears two. And I just got, I just picked that up from Mikey, so that works for me. And then you picked up a sixty-four game Rogue Squadron. That's actually a really good game. Yeah, and I was just thinking about this the other day. I, I wanted to play it again, so it works. All right. So down the rabbit hole I go again. I did pick up a video game. I picked up Deadly Premonition 2. Um, I'm almost through the first one, so I wanted to play the second one, so I figured I might as well grab it. Then we started in with the PK series. We get finished up with Leonardo. I got Raphael. Shredder. And Casey. And then I bought the Chase version of Mikey. Yeah, oh, but... Is cool. Look at that. Then I've got the Mini... And I've got the giant size, so I bought the regular size zombie Wolverine. And then me and April still gotta do our polar bear collection video, but I got the diamond collection polar bear for Coca-Cola. At the same place he bought the strategy guides, I got the Last of Us limited edition strategy guide hardback book. Looks like it's been sitting in a barn or something, but still it's there, it's clean. I love this game. As everything falls. Oh. So, hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys come back for more. I'll be doing some more Toy Man. Don't know if I'll film every time, but they do it eight times a year. If you're ever here in St. Louis, Missouri, check out Toy Man. It's an awesome little convention.